so I've just been doing my makeup. Well, just started my chin, and my bill and my doorbell rings, and I was like, I haven't haven't ordered anything for once this year. Um, and I look out my window, and it's a Deliveroo guy, and I'm like, okay, well, it's probably for upstairs because doormen always ring my bell, just because they just ring all the bells. I think just to get someone to answer. And um, I go downstairs because he rang it again, and he was just like, surprise. I was like. What do you mean, surprise? And I got this. The cake box. A hazelnut cake. From Seda! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is so cute! My goodness! Okay, so let me just tell you. In Girl Group is my WhatsApp chat with M, my pal skin blog, and Seda, Seda Kane, and M just posted this that her boyfriend got her donuts and Starbucks because he's just amazing. And I sent this picture because I thought it was funny. It's like an empty hand on an empty bed. And oh, bless her heart. How do I even open this box? You excited, I'm excited. Oh my God, wow. <gasps> Honestly, oh, <laughs> right, this will be a treat when I finish my freaking filming that I'm half ready to do. How blooming sweet of her. Okay, let's put it back in its little pouch. I always forget that my friends have my address, <laughs> and I'm like, what? what's this? Oh, oh, honestly. That's made my day. I just filmed the second half of my uh, haul. No, the first half of my haul that I deleted. I haven't even spoken to you about that, but yeah. So that's been recorded. And I'm like, seriously sweating. <laughs> seriously sweating. It's not a YouTube video if you don't end up seriously sweating, I tell you. It's freaking snowing. See, it's a heron. So, <laughs> it's a very exciting day. Hello. Fine. It's a very That's exciting right. day. Huh? That's a great angle. You're welcome. <laughs> Massive bits. So what are your thoughts on snow? I love snow. It's so lovely. And soft. Yeah. And quiet. Mm. Oh! That was a great shot. <laughs> this is going to fall over, isn't it? <laughs> That'd be excellent, though. I've almost got it. Drown rat now. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh. <laughs> Great sound effect, thanks. <laughs> when was the last time we had snow? Um, as thick as this, I'd say a few years ago. Yeah. And, and as quickly. Are your hands hurting? Yeah. Move them. I put them in underwater. Yeah, that's the best way to get frostbite. Oh, is it? No, not a frostbite. Something wrong with you, but not frostbite. Look at this mammoth meal. We are about to indulge in naked glory. <laughs> uh, free of meat, full of taste, apparently. 
Now, I've seen these sausages before, and I always thought the packaging was too good. Like, they were trying to, like, say, look at our amazing packaging, buy them, and then they're not going to be good. So, but, lovely bubble friend got me them. So, thank you very much. It's okay. Are you looking forward to the sheath taste? Definitely. <laughs> In our quest for a no meat meaty collection. We've created the tastiest, most succulent veggie protein range you could ever imagine. It's a mouth-watering, naked alternative that's gorgeously glorious. And there's um, cheese under here, obviously. They certainly look very realistic. Oh, the snow stopping. Yay. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. A bit too hot. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. The taste kind of hits you at the end. Mmm. Yeah, they taste like sausages. Because the ones you did before were in the oven, weren't they? The M&S ones. Mm. I have mushrooms, bacon and cheese wrap. Vegan? No. <laughs> I rate these. These are probably my favourite veggie sausages so far. Thank you for the sausage gift. The meaty gift. How does it come out in the air fryer? Huh? Yeah. Crispy cheese. Very crispy, yeah. Realistic. Love a realistic cheese. <laughs> this is, what is it? It's a cut face cupper. For what? Like stimulating um, your blood in your face. Why do you need that? Because it's. I saw it on TikTok. You saw it on TikTok. <laughs> Looks like a. It's like a. Speckling. Yes, or a condom. It's like a moon cup. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> it's supposed to be good though. <sighs> look, it was only like two pounds. Oh, uh, look. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I'm like a clown. <laughs> An appearance that matches you. Okay, oh, they've, they've got their clothes on now. What I mean. Oh, he's cute with his clothes on, isn't he? You just have something that they don't have. Look, <laughs> whether it works or not, I don't know. But I like the way it feels in my face. Join the army at 17. I don't know how it happens, but Sunday nights just go so fast. Um, I've just put my old phone on eBay because they've got one pound, one pound selling fees today, and I expect to get a couple hundred for it. So don't want to have to pay the uh, for, uh, funds on that. So we're just shoving down a breakfast. No, <laughs> shoving down a dinner before my live in 15 minutes. Mmm, that baba ganoush is very good. Just making a oh, just making a coffee. Don't get me wrong, I love Sundays, but I always, every single week, without fail, get the Sunday dread. Do you get the Sunday dread for no real reason? Like, I'm fine. I know exactly what the week's gonna hold. I can't do it with one hand. One sec. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Mmm. I haven't even put my phone on charge. Every week. Every freaking week. Yeah, I'm dreading because I haven't done any tidying today or anything and I feel like I haven't done my chores and I haven't done the things I should have done. And that's okay.
finished my live and now I'm eating my rest of my dinner. This feta is so good. I don't know what I thought I'd do with all this lettuce, so we're just gonna. Hello. Good morning. It's Monday and I'm wearing clean clothes. I'm on this in ages because it's been in the wash, obviously. Hi. Um, so I slept with my blinds semi open last night, so there'll be no kissing the weather. But it's the most. Ooh, this plant always gets stuck. No. Yeah, just have a knife on the table. Just a knife laying around. Um, it's stunning. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Look what I'm doing. I'm just like stepping over things instead of actually tidying up for once in my life. I'm sure my neighbors think I talk to myself. I've just showered, put deodorant on, washed my face, cleansed my face, oh, need to put moisturiser on, and I need to take my medication. Oh, let's put these lights on. Oh. oh yeah, and last night, I washed up, and I even soaked my disgusting rags. Oh, gorgeous day. I actually need shopping, but I don't want to go out, because it's, it's really icy. I even filled up my pillbox today, so we're fully stacked. Let's do some like weekly focuses. What I want to focus on. What I want to focus on this week. Mm, that needs a wash. <laughs> so, this week, I want to focus on taking my extra evening dosage of my medication if I need it. Making my bed every day, because sometimes I don't. I do want to do a bit more exercise at home, because I do zero. Literally said this for a reason, and I can't even remember what. Uh, having time away from my phone, turning my, turning my phone off. Possibly, well, obviously in the evenings, because in the day I need it for work and stuff. Yeah, because my screen time is over like eight hours a day, which is just disgusting. Look so cute there, wouldn't it? How could I do that? I need some longer string. The only reason I want this here is because I feel a bit boxed in and I want some more light, so obviously need more mirrors. I've just done something very genius. I was like, right, I feel quite dark here. How can I get some more light in with this freaking thing here? Took one of the boxes out. So now I have a light. I feel less boxed in. So what I might do, I, mm, I don't, th these need to be sorted out so badly. Um, oh, mind the, <laughs> Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm just avoiding doing work. I didn't even tell you. Last week, when I dropped that shopping round to my parents, I took Stig, and my dad planted Stig. And this is Stig, living his best life. And I got really emotional yesterday, thinking it might have been Stig's first snow. I haven't had tinned peaches in about 10 years, but we're doing it today because I don't have any fruit. 
I mean, just sweet squidge, isn't it? Mm. 11 11. It's so sunny. I'm going out for a walk. I'm putting on my Timberlands that I got on Olio. Yeah, I'm going out for a walk with Maggie. These don't actually fit. <laughs> well, they fit without these like really thick socks. Yeah, no, they don't fit. Let's go. Okay, that sounds like a lot of information to give you. It is a lot. Are you doing your manifesting moment? No, it was already out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so nice. I'm sweating so much though. My shoes are rubbing. I've seen so many like half dead snowmen. <laughs> oh, it's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I'm sweating under here. <sighs> Sunshine. Mmm. <sighs> Shoes gone. I'm freaking hungry. Shall I have a miso soup? You know what? I might have one of these. It's very full. Me. I'm so hungry. It's only been about two minutes since I made it. I should taste the broth first. Mm. Wow. I didn't expect it to pack a punch like that. Wow. I mean, I know this is made. Oh, wow. I'm mean, very impressed with that because the lot like it's nothing like a pot noodle. I'm gonna have to go back to Winnie Pon and get some more. Oh, mm. oh, wow! <laughs> Blown away. <laughs> it's probably because I haven't made it and everything I make is like quite well. It's not like this.
tonight I'm attempting to make so this girl here she's so cute is it even focused she makes this broccoli she puts it in there and then she bakes it so she actually puts it in tacos but I'm not going to do that I am going to attempt to make it and do it in the air fryer which is what you can hear I'm also doing some pasta oh I haven't sorted my pasta uh, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to do some broccoli. Basically coat the broccoli in breadcrumbs so it's edible. <laughs> um, yeah. Burned. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hmm. Oh. Burn. Good crunch. Hmm. Spicy. Not bad. Oh. <sighs> It's so cold! <laughs> Having a pair of gloves in your car, no matter what temperature you live in, well, obviously not if you live like in California, but is a great idea. Just thought I'd say. Uh, anyway, I need bananas. Ooh. I need bananas. So we're off to get bananas. Even though I want to be in bed, but hey, need some veg and fruit in my life. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a freaking. Well, oh yeah, I put it over the top of my hood. That's why. That was, that was really weird. They had sold out of like loads of stuff. As you saw, like, it was like beginning of lockdown. What's happening with that plant? Oh, it must be because it's near there. Um, oh. <laughs> That was like the slowest fall ever. So, I got some bread, tomatoes, spinach, bananas, bananas, maple syrup, cucumber. Yeah, the bananas, they were all like nearly gone. So I got like the least, the least ripe ones out of all of them. And one of the things that co-op have started doing is doing gummies, oh I've still got my makeup on from last night, doing gummies 
And as you know, gummies have like loads of gelatin in and are normally made from like pigs trotters and stuff. And they're actually labelled. Vegan. So, yum. Oh, yum. Oh yeah, avocado. Organic maple syrup. Because I ran out yesterday. And it was five pounds. Maple syrup is always expensive though, isn't it? And it was reduced. Yesterday it was £6.50. But today it's £5. And I was like, yep, yeah, it's happening. Tuesday. I am. Um... Finally, got all of the ingredients out after a massive palava. Um, got my slow cooker out, and we're going to make a red lentil and sweet potato curry. So yeah, I will put the ingredients down. Oh look, got it all down me. This is from the gorgeous Roselle, and. Um, have we got everything? Yeah, I don't have curry powder, but I reckon there's enough. I do have this, which I might add in a bit, and I've got all these seasonings as well. So let's get chopping. really late lunch what time is it it's four four o'clock well i ate the rest of that broccoli about an hour ago um and now i've got this it's a sandwich with the bread i bought this morning with uh coleslaw that i got last week some cheese and some lettuce i just realized i didn't put any pepper in it or salt anyway um oh God, i'm not even focusing on it celery and the leftover baba ganoush yeah. <laughs> it's now quarter to seven. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Oh, is my butter melted? My butter's melted. Mm. Oh, yummy. Ow, just burn my hand on the side. Let's try and stab a bit of this. Oh yeah, that's all done, yeah. I'm gonna burn myself, aren't I? Eating it straight out of the pot. Mmm. And what Roselle said is that I should mush, I should mush, I should mash half of it so you get like a thicker consistency. Give it a mash. Yeah. Yum. Put a bit of coriander on the top and I had it with some, some of those grains because I couldn't be bothered to do any rice or even heat up rice or even look for rice in that drawer. Mmm. Yum. So warming. Ah. 
Okay, I need to use that. Cool down. I'm too hungry. <clears throat> Good morning. You know, I want to get some reusable face pads. Because I don't want to be buying cotton wool anymore. You know, because of waste and the environment and all that. I've woken up and I feel like I don't have enough oxygen in my body. Obviously I do, but I feel a bit claustrophobic, I suppose. Maybe I need to do a meditation breathing thing. I need a cuddle today. What day is it? Okay, it's Wednesday. <laughs> One good thing about putting videos out is knowing what day it is, because I'm like, okay, the video went up last night, so therefore it's Wednesday today. I really want to get better at breathing because I always feel like I'm behind on my breath. Like I breathe shallowly so often, like, like literally, or I find myself holding my breath. And breathing is so important. Just another thing to stress about. <laughs> I'm gonna suffocate. Ah. I was thinking of doing like a video on Products I've stopped buying because of like uh, trying to do my bit for the environment and ways I've changed my lifestyle, which is literally going to be so basic. But I feel like that's what needs to be spoken about, doing the basic things to do our bit. Not because I saw a, I saw a quote on Olio that said we don't need a few people doing everything they possibly can. We need nearly everybody doing what they can and I really loved that and I think that's what changed my mind about it because you know you see these people living green and using their own number twos as um, manure in the garden I mean that's pushing it <laughs> not going to be any manure in this video <laughs> just the content but yeah I think it will be quite interesting to see what a normal gal like me is doing. Not brushing her hair for a start. Welcome. I'm Ellen Hendrickson. Hello, Ellen. Let's begin with the breath. Gently guide your attention away from racing thoughts. Oh, that's easy enough, isn't and it? And onto the breath. However you experience the anxiety. Acknowledge it, honor it, and breathe into it. Your anxiety has good intentions. It's trying to keep you safe. It wants to protect you, to keep you safe from harm. So acknowledge your anxiety. Thank it as you breathe <coughs> into it. And when you're ready, open your eyes and step forward into your day. That was good. It's interesting, isn't it? Because when we experience anxiety, we don't realise that it's our bodies trying to keep us safe. Like, I have I know that. I've heard that so many times in talks and stuff. But to actually hear it like that, like, thank your body for these feelings, that's what made me emotional, because it's like... Oh, also, my tears were burning after that serum. My face is burning. Um, you don't consider it to be a net positive you could only consider anxiety to be negative because it's making you feel, well, sometimes paralysed uh, with fear and un unknowing and... Yeah. Oh, goodness. I mean, I still ridiculously feel it, but I feel like it's gone a bit. 
love this little area now, my little desk. I had to put my picture here because I just kept staring at myself in the mirror. <laughs> but this looks gorgeous. I still need to finish off the paint job. Yeah, but, <clears throat> yeah, it's actually terrible, but it looks good from afar. Yum, yum, yum. I've got some prunes here and some extra poppy seeds. Delicious. Lunch is a toasted sandwich with t smoked cheese, coleslaw, lettuce, some chips, crisps with some barbecue sauce and some celery. Mm. So you want to say something? Or... You're going to interview me. What shall we interview about? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Don't make me zoom in, because I will. Don't zoom in. Okay, I've zoomed out. Can you see oh yourself? my god! <laughs> my hair is really flat. Mm. <laughs> ah. You don't look like a toad. So I'm going to be film filming. I actually, this makes your face look so smooth. Your face is smooth. Why is it like you. a like a bird like a wasp nest? Okay, hang on. Let's look at Lauren's hair. <laughs> Why is it like this? Because you didn't brush it. Look at that swish. Maybe she's warm a bit. Maybe it's just matted hair. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely just matted hair. So how are you this evening? I'm well. Thank you, interviewer lady. Cameraman. Cameraman. No, but like, how are you? I'm a bit hungry. Um, I fancy something snacky, but I can't be bothered to make anything. I'm a bit hot. I need to edit my video for tomorrow. Uh, but I'm also tired. I think she's telling me to leave. <laughs> You like watching me edit. And what have you done today? Don't mention the chair. Oh my god. Lauren, can I brush you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to brush my hair? No. Do you want to brush my hair? No. Are you sure? Look at that. It's just an actual clump. <laughs> You're a clump. Takes one to know one. <laughs> no, I, li I like brushing hair because I'm a nice person. <laughs> I do, I am obsessed with hair transplants. I don't know why, it's just like, I'm, I just love the transformation. But not for Wayne Rooney. Oh yeah, it just didn't work. Poor so he's just heading the ball all the time. Is that really why? Probably. I mean, you shouldn't really have trauma on wounds, should you? No, you shouldn't. I need to get some oil on it. Yeah, I gave you some. Oh yeah, I haven't done washing yet. Oh my cut. Don't worry, I've just brushed my hair and it's all tangle free. Um, yeah, it feels great. And uh, bubble friend, bubble friend just went home uh, and I need to edit this video. I've been feeling so anxious today. I haven't even told you this, have I? Let's, uh... Yeah, so I spoke to the doctor today and the lovely doctor that I had before, I asked if I could speak to her. And he was like, yes, yeah, she's she's left us now. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, her training's finished. So there are two lovely doctors at the surgery, but this was uh, the one I first started talking to. So a bit gutted about that, but hey, the other one is excellent as well. And he was really nice as well. I just, I don't know, I for me, I prefer a female doctor. 
yeah, so we were talking about propranolol. And I said how even though I'm taking the extra dose now at night, I'm taking the maximum, it it doesn't feel like it's properly doing anything. So I always feel like I'm playing catch up with it and I don't feel like it's really working. So he's given me, he's prescribed me a low dose of an antidepressant. Because I just say, I don't need anything for my mood. I don't want anything for my mood. And he basically he's prescribed me a low dose of another one. Um, just to kind of like... work alongside it um and he said we'll try it for four weeks and see how you go so um and he was like have you tried the talking therapies counseling i'm like yep yep uh it's not as simple as that thank you though what is this the world's coming to an end isn't it <laughs> um yeah need to get on with editing now oh it's five past eleven so need to get my skates on because I would like to sleep within let's 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 jinx it I want to sleep I'm going to be in bed ready to sleep by 10 past midnight and I'm going to check in and prove it because I'm I'm nearly finished with the vlog it just needs some tweaking and some perfecting and then I'll be off to the land and nod mid edit we've got a taste test some of these midget gems. Oh, I love sweets. I don't like yellow. Mm. They are very good. Apparently a serving is 12 sweets. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're basically exactly the same as wine gums. It's now half two. <laughs> Google, pause. Wow, it's really raining. Um, I finished my edit about an hour ago. Well, no, about an hour and a bit ago, but then I started watching YouTube videos and seeing people's styles that I really liked and then a video of this Korean girl living in London and she was like going shopping in Tesco and I was like fascinated. <laughs> Even though I go shopping in Tesco and I live in London. But um, I think it was more the fact that it was filmed before lockdown. So I was like, oh, outside. So yeah, I'm going to sleep now. And listen to the rain. It's not even... And listen to the rain. But I love the fact I brushed my hair. It's the little things in life. And um, my hair smells amazing. All coconutty. Okay, good night.